BBC News. Following a car ramming attack in Tel Aviv in which one person was killed and seven injured, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has ordered the mobilisation of police and army reserves. There's been a spurt in violence as tension escalates between Israel and Palestinian militants following Wednesday's storming of the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem by Israeli riot police. Reports in the Russian state media say the Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich has been formally charged by investigators with spying for the United States. Mr Gershkovich denies the accusation. Poland's Agriculture Minister Robert Telus says Ukraine has offered to suspend its grain exports to Poland after its cheaper grain caused anger among Polish farmers. But Mr Telus said the transit of Ukrainian grain through Poland would not be affected. North Korea says it has successfully tested an underwater nuclear attack drone. It said the weapon travelled underwater for 71 hours before detonating its warhead. The New York Times says a new batch of classified documents has surfaced on social media, appearing to detail American national security secrets from Ukraine to the Middle East and China. Villagers in Benue State in central Nigeria are still searching for victims of an attack by gunmen on Wednesday that left more than 50 people dead. The area has suffered violence between farmers and cattle herders. Justice Clarence Thomas of the US Supreme Court has said he believed free and luxury trips he took with a billionaire Republican donor did not break disclosure guidelines. Justice Thomas allegedly accepted holidays from the real estate mogul Harlan Crow for 20 years. And the FBI in the United States has apologised after agents on a training exercise at a hotel in Boston broke into the wrong room and grabbed an off-duty airline pilot. BBC News.